A military MP's encounter with a UFO. Today's story comes from a retired military MP we shall call Corporal Jake Hansen. Hey there, folks. Today we're diving into a tale that's as real as it gets, no frills, just the facts, or at least, the facts as they happen to our military MP, Corporal Jake Hansen. So, there's this military base out in the middle of nowhere. All I will say is that it is in the United States. Dust, heat, and secrets, typical military stuff. Now, Jake, a no-nonsense MP, is on the night shift. His job? Walking the perimeter, checking doors, making sure nobody's snooping where they shouldn't be. It's 2015, the moon's high, and the desert's wide open. Jake's patrolling near Hangar 7. Nothing unusual until he spots a flicker of light. Weird, right? He's used to a quiet night with the occasional owl hooting, not strange glows in military hangars. He inches closer, trying to keep it low key. Hangar 7's massive doors are slightly open, and a soft hum is buzzing in the air. Jake radios his partner, asking if there's some classified activity going on. Radio silence. Not surprising. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Jake peeks inside and, lo and behold, there's this sleek metallic craft parked dead center. No Air Force decals, no military markings, just a damned UFO. Jake's no expert, but he knows this ain't from around here. Next thing he notices, there are guards. Not regular guards, mind you. These guys are decked out like they're ready to take on an army. Dark suits, tinted visors, and they're standing watch around the craft like it's the Hope Diamond or something. Jake's got his jaw on the floor. He's an MP, seen a lot of crazy stuff, but nothing like this. The hum from the craft, it's like it's alive, thrumming through the hangar, making Jake's skin crawl. He's not exactly scared, more like stunned like someone just flipped the script on what he thought was real. He radios the command center, desperate for some answers. All he gets is more radio silence. Not even static. It's like his calls are bouncing off an invisible wall. Now, Jake ain't dumb. He knows he's onto something big, and whatever's happening here is way above his pay grade. He watches the guards for a while. They're not chit-chatting or slacking off. Stone-faced, eyes hidden behind those visors, and they ain't moving an inch. Like statues. Jake, being Jake, decides to get a closer look. But the closer he gets, the more that hum messes with his head. He notices the craft, it's a thing of beauty, and yet, there's something off about it. Sleek, metallic and it's got this glow that's not from any headlights Jake's ever seen. It's not reflecting off the hangar lights. It's like the craft's got its own source of illumination. Jake's circling the hangar, trying to find an angle that makes sense. And then, bam! Those guards, they turn toward him, visors tracking his every move. That's when Jake decides he's seen enough. He's no superhero. He's just a regular guy in a messed up situation. Back to the patrol car he goes, and he takes one last look at that UFO. The hum is louder now, and the hangar seems to vibrate. Jake's not sticking around to find out what happens next. He's radioing the base like his life depends on it. As he drives off, glancing at the hangar in the rearview mirror, the doors start closing. Slow and deliberate like they're sealing off a secret. Jake's shaking his head, trying to process what he just saw. He's a military police officer, trained for all sorts of scenarios, but this? This is something else. The rest of the night? Quiet. No more strange lights, no more secret guards, just the regular desert night sounds. Jake wraps up his shift, heads back to the barracks, but that hangar and the UFO? It's burned into his memory. The next day, Jake's hoping someone in the higher-ups will spill the beans. But nope, it's business as usual. 
He's met with blank stares, a few need-to-know responses, and a stern warning to keep his mouth shut. Classic military, right? Dot. So, there you have it, folks. Jake Hansen, a regular MP, stumbled onto something out of this world. What was that craft doing in Hangar 7? Dot. Who were those guards, and where did they come from? Dot. The military's keeping tight-lipped, but Jake? Dot. He's got a story that'll stay with him for the rest of his days. This is the hidden truth, signing off from the edge of reality. Sometimes the truth is stranger than fiction, and our boy Jake learned. That first hand in the dead of a desert night. Until next time, keep your eyes on the skies and your feet on the ground.